Hi guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I just filmed my twenty dollar makeup challenge, and this is what it came out. If you were curious, um, as you see that video, you guys can go watch that. Um, but right now, I'm going to do my. Um, what is it called? My time product neglect. First, I'm going to do a little review. So first of all, um, the thing that I pulled out was my L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. It just has the white on the side and the black on the side. I'm not going to go too much into detail because I did that in the last video. So um, I absolutely love this mascara. I've been using it um, pretty much every time I do my makeup for these past two weeks. and. Um, I'm definitely going to have to open my back up because I used it quite a bit. It's getting empty in there. Um, I remember how much I loved it and it stays, um, my, it keeps my lashes curled and it's just all around um, awesome. So and this one's in waterproof and I freaking love it. Next thing I pulled out was my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse and I'm in the color light one porcelain ivory um so you can see that and it just is like this really moussey texture i actually already finished one of these so this is my second one um but i haven't been using it for a while because i had so many other foundations and i love this stuff it goes on like your face so smooth um incredible you so yeah it's just like this moussey texture and um, what, when you put it on your face, like, I guess I can show you guys on my hand. Um, it just like blends in and then your face feels like so soft. And like when you're applying it with the brush, you can just feel like how smooth it's going on your skin. And I love it. The coverage is decent. Um, it covers like my under eye circles pretty well. And it pretty much covers everything that I need to cover except for like if I have like crazy blemishes or whatever. I'm not wearing this right now because like I said I just did my little makeup challenge or whatever. But um, I really love this stuff and I hope they don't discontinue it because I know they discontinued the concealer that was like this. Um, but yeah, I love this stuff. Next would be my Lorac blush in Rose. And I'm pretty sure I um, swatched it in my last video, but um, that's what that looks like. And I actually realized that this blush is really pretty. Um, I used to just put it over a different blush, but on those days that I don't really want to wear like much blush, this one was really nice. Um, it's going to be super nice too in the fall because it's more of like a mauve ish pink rose color more than like a bright pink that I really like to wear um in the summertime so I'll probably be using this a lot more in the coming seasons but overall I really liked it this was a really good um 10 products I neglect compared to like the last one that I did where I had a few products I didn't like so the next product I grab is the elf lustrous lipstick and this one's in the color raspberry I can't say that I use this one um, too much, but this color is amazing. Like it's super pigmented and really pretty, and I will be wearing this um, in the fall when I need to have more like berryish colors. Um, because I really like to wear pinks and like brighter colors in the summer and springtime, and this is more dark for me, and I will love to wear this in the wintertime. But super pretty, and it shears out. Um, nicely too so it's right here sheared out and I mean it, that's what I did um for <laughs> I thought that was my son crying for wearing it right now in the um in this the summertime I just sheared it out and I really like it they're only a dollar so so um <laughs> the next is my elf blush and this is in the color candid coral pretty sure i swatched this one also but i'll just go ahead and do that it's right here and i really love this one for um the summertime super pretty and i used to wear this one all the time 
and I started wearing it again because I just liked it so much. And um, even though it's like more light, light pink, oh, which <laughs> I don't know, is this foundation making me itch or something? Um, a more light pink that I would use um, in the springtime, but it would be pretty over like a little bit of a darker blush or a more pinky that you wanted to like share it out some. Uh, next would be my Mineral Power Concealer, and I'm in the color Fair, and it just has the applicator or whatever, and I ended up really liking this again for, um, like, my under eye circles. Not so much for, like, blemishes or whatever, but I really liked it for my um, under eye circles. Next is the CoverGirl Nature Lux um, Gloss Balm, I think that's what they're called. This is a color sandstone, and it's really nice. The only thing that I don't like about it is it's a little bit gritty, and I don't know if it's supposed to be like that because it has like a balm, so it may be like exfoliating or something. But like the color like this isn't gritty that I put it on my hand, but when you're applying it like this, it feels a little bit gritty. But it's a really pretty color. I totally shared it out right now. <laughs> but it's not meant to be like a super opaque lip gloss on uh, a lipstick because it's a gloss balm. But yeah, I liked it. Um, like I said, the only thing I didn't like was a little bit of the grittiness when you're applying it. The next thing would be my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Rocky Mountain Green. And I totally fell in love with using this um, on my waterline. It really made my eyes like pop a little bit and that's the color and I love all of my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils I just use Milk the most often um because I really don't wear like greens and stuff um I think I have a green one a blue one a the yogurt one which is like a light pink and then Milk but um this one was really pretty to wear um on my waterline and I think I'm gonna start doing that with the blue one too Next thing would be my Vincent Longo um, little eye pencil duo, and I used up a little bit more of this one. The blue one was really nice for the waterline, and I used the pink one as like a base for the inner corner. Let's see doodles, and so all these are the two. The top one is a blue one, obviously, and the bottom one is J, which is a light pink, and I really liked. Um, using these for those purposes and um, last would be my NYX Mega Shine lip gloss and sugar pie and as you guys know I don't really use um, nudes all that much which is why I didn't use this one too much but this one is a more pinky nude it's not just like a flat out nude um, so I enjoy using this one um, over um, pretty much anything. I enjoyed using it especially over the CoverGirl Glossy Balm since I was trying out both products. I thought I would try them out on top of each other and it really did look super pretty. But over like a darker um, lipstick that you wanted to like lighten up a little bit, it was super nice. So um, I will be using these products a lot more. Um, none of these ones I'm going to be giving away. Um, like I said in my past video, I didn't like a few of those ones, so I'm going to be giving those away. But I love all of these ones, so they're all staying with me. So next, I have my next 10 products, which I will be showing you guys. Um, first, I have my NYX um, Cream Blush. And I love my NYX Cream Blushes, but I hardly ever use this one. This one is in the color Natural. I think this is the first color that I I got, and I used to use it. But since I got my other ones, I really haven't paid too much attention to this one. Um, and it's really pretty pink, and I figure that I will get good use out of it right now where it's still um, summertime. But yeah. So that, there's that one, and then my e.l.f. Um, blush, wasn't well, really a blush, it's more of a highlight, and this one's in the color Gotta Glow, 
and I also used to use this one, but then I found the two other ones that were in my um, top three, and I really like this one. It's more of like a yellow, a yellow highlight, but that one's really pretty too, and I'm hoping to get more use out of it. Um, I made a little bit of a dent in there um, from using it before, because I did used to use it all the time. Next is this um, Natural Glow by Naturistics Eye Definer in Slate. And it's just an eyeliner. And it's like this grayish color, grayish brown color. And I don't know how well it's going to work in the waterline. I don't even remember, honestly, what I use this for because it's not very creamy. But maybe warmed up a little bit. It would be a really pretty color for the waterline. I just don't know if it's going to work that well. But we'll see. Maybe I'll find a different use for it. Next is another eyeliner. And this is the Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in Purple Shock. And it just looks like this. Oh, it totally just broke on me. <laughs> um... So I plan on using this for the waterline also while it's still summertime and I can get away with having some color. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully this works out well. I can't say that I used to wear it a lot because I honestly bought it because I wanted a purple liner. And then I just didn't end up wearing it so much. There's like the bus dropping off kids right now so if you hear loud noises, it's totally the bus. Next is my MAC lipstick in Speed Dive. Holy crap, Molio. I use Angel all the time because it's such a light pink. But Speed Dive, on the other hand, is more of like a hottish, not hot pink, it's just more out of my comfort zone. But I got it because I really wanted to get something more out of my comfort zone. Um, so it's like a brighter pink and also I wanted to use it now because it's summertime and I don't want to be sporting that <laughs> in the winter. So, um, yeah, hopefully that works out well. And I love my angel and I love like the feeling of it. I'm just, haven't been using it because the color and they smell really good. Next is my number seven color calming makeup base and this is the green one. It's supposed to um, neutralize like the red in your skin or whatever. And since I have redness, um, I bought this like a while back. And it's just a green like primer. It looks like that. And you just like rub it in or whatever. And it's supposed to neutralize the red. I used to use it and then I just stopped. I can't remember if I stopped because I didn't like it or if I stopped just because it was an, a hassle having to put this on first, but I will definitely let you guys know how those work. Um, next would be my NYX Tinted Lip Spot, and this one's in Sake. I use my one in Coco, Copa Cabana a lot, but this one I don't use that much, so I decided that I would throw it in here and maybe get some more use out of it. Um, these are supposed to be um, gorgeous lip spot treatments with just a hint of color, so it will give you a natural, luscious, and also oh kissable lips. So it's supposed to be like a chapstick, but with some color in there. I featured these in my um, top three also, um, but I think I featured the other one for sure. But yeah, these smell a little bit funky. So that's that. Um, next would be these um, Blue Line Cosmetics um, eyeshadow number 19 and it's in Golden Peach. It just looks like that. I bought these eyeshadows and I swear, ew, it's like, uh, the outside is totally melting. How disgusting is that? I bought these eyeshadows and I like never use them. But I thought this would be like a super pretty highlight color. I cannot, can you guys see that? It's like melting over here in the corner. 
that is so disgusting and weird. Um, maybe I'll have to call um, their customer service. And it's like wet or something. I have no idea what's going on here. Anyways, um, I'll show you guys that real quick. It's right here. I don't know if you guys can be able to tell. But I thought it would be a really pretty highlight color. Um, so we'll see how it goes if I even use it on my eyes since it's like melting in there. I don't know. Um, um, next would be my Hard Candy Gamouflage Concealer, and this is the color Light, and it just looks like, it has like a little two, and you just squeeze it out and apply it or whatever. It's supposed to be like a super heavy duty concealer, which I like from my under eye circles, and I used to use it, I don't remember why I stopped, probably because I got, um, so many other ones, but yeah, it seems to look pretty creamy, maybe like a little bit um, cakey looking, but maybe that's why I stopped using it, I don't know, we'll have to see together. And next would be my Lash Blast um, volume from CoverGirl, this is just like the orange one. I used to use this all the time and I haven't used it in forever, it just looks like that. Um, and I will let you know how I like this. So, those are all my makeup products, and I'm, I will be going away, um, this weekend for three days, and we will be back on Sunday. So, um, after that, I'm going to stop doing pre-recorded videos, and they're going to be... Um, the ones that I had recorded and edited all in the same day, and then I'm going to put them up. Because I feel like when they're pre-recorded, you guys don't really get to, like, talk to me, you know? I don't know. Well, um, because pre-recorded, because I have, like, one more pre-recorded video, I think. Besides, um, these two that are going to be pre-recorded. And then, I'm just, like, blabbling on and on and on. Um, I'll just talk to you guys later. Um, thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much if you have already. And keep watching and let me know if you guys have any requests um, in the comment section. And I'll be sure to get to those. I'm looking for um, video ideas anyway. So just let me know. Okay. And I guess that's all. Thank you so much. Bye.